football legend David Beckham recently showed us that he could still bend it like Beckham. Let's break down the biomechanics and the physics behind this legendary curve. First, the approach angle. Once Beckham sets up the ball, he approaches it by nearly 90 degrees with respect to the goal. On the run up, Beckham's feet take an S shape when approaching the ball, starting towards the left on a curved path, allowing the hips to open up easier. Much like a Formula One car turning slightly left before turning right, it helps to generate more torque and angular momentum. In the final two steps, Beckham swings his non-kicking arm in a windmill motion, completing it before his plant foot even lands. This stabilizes his center of mass and keeps his torso upright, allowing for full hip extension of the kicking leg. Just look at the distance between his feet here. That spinal rotation accelerates the pelvis and trunk, transferring peak kinetic energy into the strike. He then strikes the ball just right of the vertical axis and slightly below the horizontal midline using the instep of the foot, not the toes. With the ankle locked and foot externally rotated, this off-center contact creates a precise counterclockwise spin of the ball. As Beckham strikes, his kicking leg swings upward, then arches and dips across his body, mirroring the spin on the ball. Hip internal rotation and adduction drives this motion. The dip completes the energy transfer smoothly smoothly maintaining balance and preventing sudden deceleration. Next, the cleat scrape. As the kicking leg swings through, the non-kicking foot drags, scraping the outside cleat on the surface. This acts as a brake, preventing over rotation and anchoring his momentum while helping to dissipate excess angular momentum safely through the ground. And now, the infamous bend. When the ball spins in this counterclockwise fashion, it changes how air flows around it and experiences a phenomenon called the Magnus effect, where a spinning object moving through fluid, like air, experiences a sideways lift force, causing its path to deviate from a straight line. The faster the spin, the higher the velocity, and the stronger the sideways lift becomes. So while Beckham's most recent corner kick mechanics are only a shell of his elite form when he was in his prime, it's still a potent reminder of why he remains the all-time leader in free kicks in the Premier League.